Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. And the allure of Jehovah's Witnesses. This is something that uh, we've tried to figure out for a long time. What is it exactly that gets people to stay inside a cult that has predicted the end of the world, that is that is gotten his teachings wrong time and time and time again and done things that would have caused multitudes of people to leave in any other circumstance. Well, there is something that Watchtower does in order to bring in people and keep them there. Something that Watchtower does that most other religions don't do. Yeah, Watchtower ha has its, its own little niche that most other religions don't really have. And that's something that we could phrase it like this. A business model called prominence for less. Prominence for less for less. Well, what is that? Well, have you ever heard of a, a, a store that its business model is fashion for less? Have you ever seen a dollar store? Have you ever driven past a dollar store? Most of us have. Most of us have been inside of a dollar store. Most of us like the dollar store. Well, somebody came up with the idea that we could literally have a store and everything in there is, is a dollar or a roundabout. Everything in there is cheap. Who, who would have thought something like that would have been so successful? If you were about to start your own business, nobody thought, I'm going to start a business and everything that I'm selling is going to be cheap, dirt cheap. It's all going to be dirt cheap and I'm going to have businesses everywhere. You're going to think, I'm going to start a business. Everything in there is going to be cheap. And I'm not going to be able to compete with all the, the big, big time stores, big time businesses. That's what a lot of people would have thought. But no, somebody had the idea that there's always going to be people who they don't want to pay as much. They don't care if it's cheaper. They don't care if it's, 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 it's not made with, with high quality. Just give it to me for a dollar. So they make the dollar store and it is very successful. Dollar stores everywhere as proof. Well, the Jehovah's Witnesses, essentially Watchtower, because Jehovah's Witnesses, the thing that Watchtower came up with, they did the same thing. They said, we're going to give out titles, ministerial servant, pioneer, elder, and we are going to give out all these titles for less qualifications than anybody else. We are going to set the standard for prominence in our religion so low that it is lower than anyone else. And Watchtower realizes the same thing that, you know, the people who came up with the dollar store, uh, people that came up with fashion for less, they all realize there's always going to be people of a certain station of life, right? There's always going to be people hurting for money. But people who may not necessarily have a great job 
people that may not necessarily have a lot of money, they still want to look good, right? So they'll go to whatever the name of the, the store is in, in your town that, that has the, the fashionable clothes but has them for less money. Uh, where I was from in Ohio, they called it fashion for less. And then there was a name of the store and I can't remember what it was. But that store was always packed. When they would get new merchandise in, it was always packed. Yes, there's people that may not have a lot of money, but they don't want to look like they don't have a lot of money. They want to look good. So they would go to that store. They would flock to that store. And as a matter of fact, if you went to that store too, too late after the uh, merchandise had come in, there wouldn't hardly be anything left. People would have gone in, they'd have taken everything because they had clothes that, that looked fashionable, they, they looked unique, but they didn't cost a lot of money. As a matter of fact, in two, three weeks, the sleeve will fall off the arm of your shirt because it's poorly made, but it don't matter. We just want to look good. We don't want good quality. The same is true with Jehovah's Witnesses. They understand uh, Watchtower. Again, Jehovah's Witnesses is just the title Watchtower came up with, and it's a part of the whole scheme. Because Watchtower realizes that there are people who are not as intelligent as others. And I know, oh, Marcus, here we go again with the intellect thing. But it's the truth. Watchtower knows that there are people who are not as intelligent as others. And then there's people that do have a level of intelligence, but they're not, they don't have the, the emotional strength. They don't have the emotional intelligence, right? But people who are not as intelligent as others, they want to look good. People who, are, who aren't very smart, they want to look good. You know, you can call them stupid, you can call them, you know, slow, you can call them what have you, but they want to look good. They would like to have a title. They would like to have a flashy name. So Watchtower came up with Jehovah's Witnesses. And you go to a, a kingdom hall and the, the, the quality of the teachings aren't, you know, they're not all that. They, they keep having to change things because they get them not just wrong, but so wrong that they have to change them, especially the dates in regards to the end of the world, the 1914 thing, the 1975 thing, those things you got to change. So the, the quality of the teachings, uh, just like the quality of that shirt you get at the, the, the cheap store, sleeve might fall off. Well, the teachings might fall apart with Jehovah's Witnesses, but people don't care because I don't need an education to have prominence. I can get titles. I can be a pioneer, a ministerial servant. I can be an elder. I can be a servant overseer and not have any kind of qualifications at all. The standard for me to be able to get those things are super low. Sometimes there are people who walk into a Catholic church, and they realize they're not going to be a priest. They, they realize that in the pews is where they're going to stay because a, a, a priest is, is they got to go through school, right? They got to go through a certain level of education. They have to have a certain level of qualification, right? So there's people that walk into the Catholic church knowing full well they're just happy being Catholic. They're not going to be a priest. They know full well, if they, if they can't really even read that well, they're not going to be a priest. But then those same people can walk into a kingdom hall. What happens in the kingdom hall? Every male in the building is trying to get what? Appointed, right? Why is every male in the building in the kingdom hall, one of Watchtower's facilities, why is every single person who walks in there trying to get appointed even though they don't have qualification? 
because the standard is so low. You don't have to be able to read very well. You don't even have to be able to pronounce all your Bible books. You may not even know how many Bible books there are, but if you come into a kingdom hall and you raise your hand at the Watchtower study and just basically read back the answer that's in the paragraph for the question below it, the answer, you don't have to go to no library and do a lot of research. The answer is right there in the paragraph if you can just read it back to them. If you just have enough intelligence to be able to underline something that looks like it matches the question for the paragraph that's above the question, if you would just underline what looks like it is and, and then just read that back, maybe change the wording a little bit, but just read that back. If you could just do that and you attend the meetings, then you can look forward to getting a, a, a title. That business model from Watchtower works. They give them a nice title, even if you don't get appointed, Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, if I were to start a religion and call it Commanders of Christ, do you know there are going to be a lot of people who join my religion just because they want to be a commander of Christ. And then if I have all these additional titles, like commander of the commanders of Christ, and all you have to do is jump through the hoops I tell you to jump through, repeat what I tell you to repeat, when I say jump, say how high. That's all you got to do to get that title. You don't have to have any intellect. I will have the same thing that Watchtower has. I will have these small little facilities, these small little buildings with groups of maybe around a couple hundred people inside. And they all want a title. They're not going to be the smartest people in the world, but it doesn't matter because half my teachings are wrong anyway. I don't want the smart ones. The smart ones are going to figure out that I don't know when the end of the world is going to come. And I was, it was just a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors to begin with, right? But I don't want the smart ones. I want the ones who aren't that bright, but they want to look good. They want to walk around and say, I'm a ministerial servant. I'm an elder. I'm a pioneer, but 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 the, the key to Watchtower's business model is that people get to call themselves Jehovah's Witnesses, and they get to call themselves pioneers and elders and ministerial service, but they don't have to A, have a degree, or B, be good at anything, because there's people who don't have degrees that are really smart. There really are people who do not have degrees that are really smart. I knew a guy who he didn't go to college, but for whatever reason, anything he picked up, he was just good at. Any kind of job, if you were to train him for uh, just a day after that, he could pick up and do it himself. He's just good, right? You don't have to have a degree to be smart or to be talented, right? Sometimes smart people who are very talented, they choose to go get a degree, right? So that they can get paid for that those talents and that intelligence. It, don't, it doesn't mean that you're not smart because you don't have a degree. It doesn't mean that you don't have talent if you don't have a degree. It just means you didn't go and get a degree, right? But with Jehovah's Witnesses, we're not talking about a bunch of people with talent and a bunch of people with intellect that just don't have a degree in their field of study of religion. We're talking about people who they don't have any degrees of qualification and they, they're not that smart 
and they're not that talented. But yet we're going to give them titles and we're going to give them prominence for less. What you end up doing is creating a small community of people who have their own little standard of excellence, right? For example, let me give you an example. You remember back in the day when the uh, Watchtower would have what's called, what used to be called a theocratic ministry school. Well, they had parts, right? They broke down uh, this school into different parts. There was a part where uh, someone had to stand up in front of everyone and just read the Bible. Just read. Like that's that's all they had to do is there was a certain amount of paragraphs and all they had to do is just essentially just read it and then sit back down. Right? That was actually a part in a school. Like they are essentially telling you we have people that we have to train just to be able to read. They have to train grown adults, not just the kids, grown adults to be able to stop when there is a comma, stop when, there, when you see a period, stop. Count to five in your head and then keep going. Because there were people as I was growing up that were grown adults that couldn't figure out what a sentence was. When there's this little dot, that means stop. Jehovah's Witnesses, I keep saying that, but it's Watchtower. The, 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 the title of Jehovah's Witness is just the, the, the gimmick. It's just to attract people who are of not high intellect, but they want to sound good. They want to look good. They want a title that makes them feel good, right? Just like if I had a church called Commanders of Christ, I would have people join it just because of that. Watchtower came up with Jehovah's Witnesses. These people don't even really know what in the world that means. They haven't witnessed Jehovah, they, but, they, but it sounds good. And a person again, with, they don't have all their scruples. They're not the smartest people in the world, but they want to look good, right? People that don't have a lot of money, they still like fashion. They want to look good. People that aren't that smart, they want a level of prominence. So in this theocratic ministry school, they were teaching grown adults just to be able to read, right? And there would be the, 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 the whole family sitting in the audience, the brother would get up to, to read. He would make it through reading just regular paragraphs in the Bible. He'd be up there, collar all up like this. He's not that smart. Collar all up like this or collar all dirty in the back and whatnot. Just buttons not buttoned right on his shirt. But his wife is sitting down in the audience Kids, everybody's looking at him. Oh, they're so proud of him. Oh, he read. He can read words. And he would sit back down and just feel so good that he read reading material oh, in front of a crowd of people. He read reading materials. Oh, I'm so, you know what I mean? And then after the meeting, everybody's congratulating him and patting him on the back and Oh, wow, he read reading materials. Like, that's the, st the standard is so low amongst Jehovah's Witnesses. They also had a part, if I remember correctly, that was maybe like, I don't know, a few minutes. You had to say a little bit, a little introduction. Introduction, just a couple sentences. Uh read a, a few scriptures and then have a little conclusion, you know. 
like a basic little short, extremely short report on a, a scripture, a few scriptures. They had a part and it was it was so short. But you have grown men that get up there and uh, they bring odd objects as their uh, illustration and they they, 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 they they enjoy their couple of minutes up there. And, and that's Watchtower is telling you blatantly. We got people, we got to train to be able to read. They're telling you blatantly. We got people that we got to train to give a basic little introduction, say a couple things, and then have a basic little conclusion. Like, we ain't got the smartest people in the world. Right? The same is true with their watchtower discussion. We, we got people that, they, they don't know how to really do a whole lot of research. We, we got to just make paragraphs and make the answer blatantly, obviously there in the paragraph and then put the question right below it so that these people can answer it. Because if Watchtower had an actual lesson of actual college level materials, there wouldn't be no hands getting raised. They would hear cricket, so they need to lower the standard. Make it so that a six-year-old can find the same answer that the adults can. <laughs> and then you raise your hand and the person feels the prominence for less. You got prominence for less. You feel good, but you, you don't have to have a lot of intelligence. You ain't got to be that smart, but you feel good. You get titles. If you keep doing that, you get a title, right? And people want to say, well, there's people in there that are smart. No, there aren't. There, 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 there's people in there that are of lower intellect, but want a higher title, there's people in there that are emotionally weak and, and they just want to hear what makes them feel good. I'll give you an example. There are women who they know full well that their husband is abusive uh, or they know full well that their husband is abusing the, the children. It's not a level of, it's not a matter of they aren't cognizant of this is not right. It's a level of emotional intelligence, right? They just want to hear what they want to hear, right? They just want to do what they want to do. And in doing that, a person is capable of just overriding any kind of common sense that they, they have, right? You know, they just want to be in a relationship with this person so he can beat up everybody in the house afterwards, say he's sorry and he's not going to drink anymore or he's not going to do any more drugs or uh, he's not going to go to prison anymore. And, you know, they'll, they'll believe it as many times as he says it because it's, it's, it's not a level of sometimes it's not a level of a person is not capable of figuring out that they're in a situation that there's problems with, that there's something wrong with this situation. It's a matter of they don't want to believe it. They just don't want to believe it, right? Husband is giving them full on uppercuts across the chin, but they just don't want to believe that they're in an abusive relation. They just don't want to believe it. Right. Or who, who knows what all is going on? Right. They, 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 there are people who are in relationships where there's people who have literally been shot by their significant other. And there were plenty of obvious cues. Such as maybe the person had a whole rap sheet from shooting people. That's what they were known to do in their neighborhood. They were known to shoot people. They knew this. But they don't want to believe that it'll happen to them. So they get in a full-blown relationship, have about seven kids with the guy. And then he shoots like five of the kids, including themselves and everybody's surprised. Like it's, 
it's 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 not always a matter of intellect that's that's true, but it's always a matter of one of two things. Either intellect, they're they they are just not that bright, or uh emotional intelligence. And guys do it too. Guys put themselves in situations where they can easily be taken advantage of by a woman. And sometimes it's kind of obvious that she's doing it. She's just taking advantage of the guy because of his money or what have you. Uh, typically because of his money. She's just taking advantage. And, and it's obvious. And all his friends could tell him, but he doesn't want to believe it. So he would lower his level of intellect because if he uses his full-blown intellect, he's going to learn things he don't want to know. Or she's going to learn things she don't want to know if she fully uses her intellect. She don't want to leave the relationship. She wants to just stay there. So she she just, she doesn't want to use her full brain. That's the same is true with Jehovah's Witnesses. You full-on have people in that religion who just are not that smart. They just aren't. I grew up in the religion. I grew up in a religion where I was surrounded by people who could not give me advice about life at all because they were not that bright. Do you know how frustrating it is for a person to, to grow up? You know, you're going through high school. You're going through all kinds of things for the first time. You're learning life and you're surrounded by people. All these people, whole you're surrounded by people. Darn near anybody in that religion could not give me any advice on life. Only thing they could say is keep going to the meetings and keep studying your watchtower because that's all they knew. There are so many cues as to the reason why watchtower has had a level of success. Is because they give prominence to people who are essentially stupid. They can't get it anywhere else. They can't get it anywhere else. They can't get it from any other church because these churches have standards. They can't get it at work sometimes. Right? You got to have some level of skill because most businesses are about profit, making money from customers. Right? And they have to compete. So they can't just give titles to people who aren't that bright or give it to people who aren't that productive right so the the the, the level of prominence that watchtower gives out they give the title jehovah's witnesses we're better than christian they they give out all these titles on top of that ministerial servant of the 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 the, the congregation of the jehovah's witnesses elder of the congregation of jehovah's witnesses Pioneer people who are just just standing like you know you know just just bumps on a log next to carts, right? But we give them the a, 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 a title pioneer, not cart pusher, not magazines. You know, they give them a title that sounds good, and that's the reason why you have so many people still in. Is because there is an entire system <laughs> designed solely for people who are slow. You can't say I'm telling anything other than the truth because that's how the Watchtower study is set up. So that unintelligent people can comment. That's how the school used to be set up. So that unintelligent people could participate. That's how field service was set up. We used to have to practice going to a door and just basically you, you had to practice giving out a magazine, right? Are you serious? You got to practice giving. You had to practice giving out a magazine where we literally would, would at the Kingdom Hall, somebody would do a skit in front of everybody to show them this is how you, you knock on the door, you introduce yourself. You tell them what religion you're from and, and see if that, you know, impresses them. I'm a Jehovah with it. And then you show them the magazine and say a little bit before asking them if they want it. I mean, they literally, the entire structure of the religion shows you it's set up for people who are dumb. 
And there's plenty of dumb people. And all these dumb people want titles, right? And then Watchtower knows that once it gets people in, there's going to be people who want to leave. So they come up with the shunning. Well, don't, don't figure us out and be smart enough to leave because then we'll disfellowship you and we'll tell your family and your friends and everybody not to talk to you, right? That whole thing is set up. Why don't any other church need that? Why is it that other churches don't need to scare people away from leaving? Right? It's because other churches have a set level of standard that matches most other churches. Right? So yeah, you can go in there and if you don't like something, you can leave, but their standards are high enough to where they know they're going to have a congregation full of people. Jehovah's Witnesses or Watchtower, they're like, man, everybody might walk up out of here. We, we're going to have congregations with 50 people in it if we don't come up with something to punish people for trying to leave. So they come up with shunning in order to keep people in. And then you got you, you got your people who are just emotionally weak. They're not strong enough to leave something that they were used to and figure out how to start new friends, how to find different things to do. So, yeah, they're fully aware that half of what they've been teaching all this time was wrong, but they're just, they don't want to believe it. They, they, they don't want to believe that what they've been teaching and doing for so long is wrong. So they lower their level of intellect. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. X-Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.